Hello everyone, Epic Clips here, and in today's video, we're going to be opening some Nitro Crates. Now, this isn't just going to be a normal Nitro Crate opening. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is, I've got myself a 20XX. So, basically, if we get anything, the value or near the value of 20XX, I will give it away or, you know, give the item away that I get. And if we don't get anything near it, I'm going to keep the 20XX. So, that's, that's basically what we're going to do. So... I've got 50 crates and we're going to basically see if 50 crates can beat 20XX, which again, isn't exactly the price you would pay for it, but I feel like the crates need a little bit more advantage to give us a good chance of getting something better. So that's either another universal or some painted wheels. So let's hope we get one of the two. We've got, well, we had 50, now we have 51 crates. That's because um, I actually think got one from a game. All right. Sorry about that really quickly. I just had a go offline to make sure that I didn't get any messages throughout this. But the first item is MG8. Alright, and then we'll go right on to the second one. Uh, so 50 crates is quite a bit. Um, 20 XX is around 30 to like $35 at the moment. So <laughs> price wise, the crates definitely have the advantage. But I guess luck wise, you have to have some sort of luck to beat out the 20 XX. Um, I'm not sure. I think a we can get a certain mantis and beat it as well or we can get like a certain i don't know if it's any specter wheels or any of the uh, other wheels painted and certified would beat it but um we can check afterwards and see if anything if we get like a some painted certified mantis see if that beats out the 20xx price wise because i'm pretty sure some sort of one is probably really expensive <laughs> i don't know exactly but we can look so on to the next crate, and uh, so far we've really not done too well, have we? <laughs> but we're only three crates in, so still optimistic about it. Four, actually. I keep on going off 50, and yeah, we have 51. So it's been a little bit since I posted a video, but hopefully all my mic stuff is back in order, which is great. Um, I should be having my teammate help me out with all my mic stuff, so hopefully... I won't ever have any more mic problems and everything should be good, but I do apologize for the last couple videos having some trouble. Hopefully this one comes out all good. Uh, another big thing is the, if you guys remember, Rocket League mods um, coming back. They're done, you know, one of them was in college and just finished up college, so he's back. There we go, we got certified. That's not bad. And the other one just, you know, has some more free time, you know, the two, the main guys behind it, Tim and Butter or two in butter, whatever you guys, you know, know them by. But they're back at modding, so hopefully, we'll, uh, well not hopefully, very soon we'll have some more modding videos coming out and some new things that you can do in modding, uh, you know, private servers and stuff like that. So hopefully we can get that running with the Steam community and uh, you guys can start playing some of those maps on the uh, workshop together, which would be uh, pretty fun. Uh, other things that I think could be coming are... Um, Remember, like, changing the ball size and things like that, yeah. A whole bunch of that is getting done, adding balls to, you know, drop shot, custom rumble. But uh, I've heard there's been some changes in what Sionic's done, so hopefully, well, not hopefully, actually. I keep on saying hopefully, but I know we're actually going to be able to do a lot more fun things than we could do before. So that will be pretty cool, and hopefully we can have some really fun things to do. Um, give a little sneak peek is none of this is for sure that they can do this but they were working on uh creating a new ball so just like a different type of ball and a different type of car themselves and implementing into the game whether they can do that or not is not for sure but hopefully they can they think they can so can get that done i will let you guys know how to really do it or i will point you guys in the right direction on how to do it and i will let you guys know when it's available <laughs> so that will be what I'm doing at least, and whenever anything from the modding community is going to come out, I will let you guys know, of course, with the video, and usually I'm around um, the modding community on their Discord and stuff like that, uh, just around and about. So, uh, that's pretty much it with the whole modding, but very excited for it to come out, come back. Um, definitely a lot of fun videos in the past, and uh, hopefully with all the new stuff that they seem to be able to do, you know, we'll be able to do a lot new and more fun things. But back to opening the crates, we really haven't got anything too exciting yet. Uh, we're, we've just basically steady gotten some, a lot of rare decals. Um, at least this one's painted gray. <laughs> um, 
But let's see, what are we about? Like 10 crates in now? This is the 10th one. Usually we do pretty good on the 10th crate, so, uh, come on. Give me something decent here. Alright, I'll take Hex Phase. Not bad, not bad. I'll take a Painted Hex Phase more if we can get one. Come on. Aw, oh, so close. Certified. Halfway there. Alright. Oh, we're way more than 10 crates in. Wow, guys. I don't know if we're going to be beating 20XX here. <laughs> we haven't even opened up... We've opened up one import wheel. That's it. It's real great. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, we were close. Right down there. Just came and said hello for now. Uh, another rare decal. I think this is the, uh, the worst start so far. But I guess you really can't get lucky every time you open crates. I mean, try. <laughs> sure can. But, it looks like we we're gonna get a Mantis here, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Doesn't look painted, I don't think. But, I'm just excited to get something <laughs> better than a rare. A Mantis is very good in general. I don't actually think I have one on this account right now. I think they're just spread among other accounts. Um, they're on my teammates or on someone else's. I've got no idea. Uh, okay. Just another... Going back to the, the steady rare decal. I'm gonna try to take this drink without like crackling the bottom at all. The bottom, the bottle at all. So hopefully I can do. This. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, come on, give me something good here. All right, another hex face. I really, really badly want painted Draco wheels. Like honestly, I love the, the way they look. It just like. I don't know. I think the Draco wheels are my new favorite, and I, I really didn't. I was debating whether or not to buy white Draco wheels for the video, but then I was like, eh, I don't even know that's the color I want, and they're super expensive. Like, they're 130 bucks. It's, that's a lot of money for some wheels in Rocket League. And to really think about it, Draco wheels aren't going to hold their price too much. They may be hard to get now, but, you know, this crate's going to be out for a while, so people will keep on opening them. Price will go down. Okay. Uh, hopefully get something better besides from some very rare and rare decals. Something good here. I think this is about the 20th crate that we're going through, so almost halfway there. Almost. Let's see what we get. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Some triplex wheels. To be honest, I think these are my least, least, least favorite import wheels. I'm not really such a big fan of them. I like the little Rocket League inside of them, and I think they're fun and all, but I don't know how I feel about all the uneven wheel type, like the Torco wheels. But they're a little, the Torco's a little bit more uneven than they are. I don't know. Okay, we're back to getting the MDGA. Um... So, I don't know, guys. I don't even know if the like all these crates put together will be worth the twenty XX. Like, I wonder if the the price of everything put together I can get twenty XX for. That would be an interesting one too. If I can't even do that, that's probably pretty bad. <laughs> Spend like twice the money on crates and can't even get something. Can't even get worth twenty XX. Terrible. But uh. Hopefully, we'll be able to, we should be able to pull something good. There we go. Nice Neothermal. Come on, give me painted Neothermal. I've got a, I usually get painted one. Come on. Oh, I thought that was painted. I forgot it's normally purple. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we've got, we've gotten some imports, which is pretty good. No exotics yet, but uh, imports are good for trading up to exotics, which is, you know, never a bad thing. And we have been getting more very rare decals instead of rare decals, which isn't so bad in the in the outlook of things because, you know, training up very rares is still very good because you get imports and then you get very, you know, it's tips, steps, skips a nice step there. But, uh, let's see. So close. Just right there. I want it. I want it so badly. I want, um... I already have Bubbly. I would love to get the other decal. I think I like how it looks, but I, I do want to see it on my car. And nor do I know how I feel about 20XX in general. 
I don't know if I can't just get like a nice color combo with it, but I was trying to like mess around with it and I don't really like it more than either one of my decals. And there we go, we got ourselves another Neothermal. Nice. Let's see. Painted. Let's see. Let's see what this is painted. That looks <laughs> that looked just the same as the same. Just the same as the same, just the same as the other color that we had. So it's like a purple. It's nice. I want more of like a pink color, I guess. I guess that's kind of close. I, I could use that for this car. I like the, uh, the extra color to it. The, my favorite one so far that I've gotten is the sky blue, because the crimson's nice, but again, it comes to that like kind of weird yellow color that I'm not... Oh, wait. I'm just about to search for a game. Is <laughs> Where's my head right now, guys? Okay. Alright, so we're, we're halfway through the crates, so that was like kind of the halfway mark there. This is other kind of halfway mark, so maybe we can get something other something else good here. Come on. Let's see. Alright, some fire plug wheels. Not bad, not bad. I think they're just... Oh, I don't think they're... They're defied or anything. Uh... Nope. I also said I didn't think they were certified, like I, I should know, like from <laughs> looking at them that they were certified or not. Alright, so, next crate, next good item please, nope, oh, maybe, oh, look, the universal again just peeking in to say hi, except, except it's getting further and further away, which is unfortunate. You know what I really hate? You guys ever had it where you like scroll down and it slows down right on the universal but then it ticks just a, like an inch over on it and you're just like, you gotta be kidding me. Like that's, that's the absolute worst. Like let's see if we can just get, like that wouldn't have been so bad, you know you're not, I knew it wasn't landing on the mantis there. But like when it's like so close, you know when it lands just on the edge, oh it's the worst. Let's see if we can get like just anything happen like that and I can point it out. So if you guys haven't seen it happen to you before, you can see what it really looks like. So I guess it... No, I'm still going to get the buzzkill here. It really doesn't happen too often. Usually they're they're pretty accurate and they land pretty in the middle of the items, but sometimes they're... Uh, they, end towards, they go on towards the end. Or like when it just becomes like that inch short of being on an item, that sucks too. Let's see. Uh, no, this... Too. <laughs> I have to entertain myself because all these rare decals that I'm getting... I mean, that was painted, but, eh. Okay, let's see. Hopefully here we can get something a little bit better, or even just that idea that I was just talking about. No, no, we can't. <laughs> He's all been landing pretty clearly on the item. Maybe they changed it so it doesn't do that anymore. Never know. I guess I would never really, would never realize unless it happens to me again. Come on. Nope. I guess, yeah, like that kind of, where it was like kind of going to the Mantis, but it it's a little bit closer than that. Like that, I still kind of knew I was going to land on there. It wasn't so close. But just like a little bit more than that, that's what I mean. Or when it goes like that little bit extra. So, yeah, I guess they still probably have it in the game. Let's see if may maybe we can still get one. So there we go. Like that. Like that would have been an annoying one if that was a universal and that was something chitty. But the these were triplex wheels, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, going back to opening more. <laughs> Nothing really too exciting. Hope we've gotten some imports, which is, again is good, but nothing too. I mean, we did get actually painted neothermal. Forgot about that. Painted purple didn't. You? Good. Do you some painted hex phase? Yes, we did. Look at that. Cobalt. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was cobalt. I don't think I have to look at that. That was definitely cobalt. Okay, some cobalt. You know, boosts right now is looking pretty good for us. They, uh, you know, the painted boosts. I wonder what the uh, rarity of painted boosts is compared to, like, painted very rare wheels or painted import wheels, you know? And I wonder if, like, the normal decal, like rare decals, if they're all the same possibility of getting it painted or some are rare. Like, obviously the exotics are a little bit more rare than the normal ones, but I wonder if there's a difference between the boost and the wheels. And the car, actually. That's another good one. Boost, wheels, and car. I wonder what the difference is. You know what I was thinking would be a really fun crate for the just random kicks 
is basically put every single car that used like older cars in Rocket League, like the Octane, the Dominus, and like really popular ones, and you basically just put all of them in there, but make it so they can be painted or certified, so then you can have like painted and certified default cars. So I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I'd love to get like my hands on a painted Octane or Dominus because it is that car that I like to use, so it would be fun to be able to at least certified. No, if not painted certified, would be happy with that. But, uh, again, this opening is just not going good at all. At least I get to look at my bubbly car every time. That looks like a lava lamp. I, I think I love bubbly. It's, it's great. Hex and bubbly are, like, some of my favorite decals. I, I like Heat Wave, just not as much anymore. And I really like Parallax still. It's such a weird decal that I feel like no one really likes. But I like the, um... The simplicity behind it and just how it looks. You know, the lines that it does, it's just a nice decal in general. But, uh, enough about the universals. Let's see. Slide. Usually people go down and, like, write, you know, the time frames in the video for me. They say, like, one, like, all the good shit that I get is. They could go and be like, alright, well, he got painted boost here and here. And that's, that's really it. <laughs> just don't even watch the video, guys. <laughs> gotten jack shit the whole time maybe at the very no see like that but a little bit closer. could you imagine the, i knew i was gonna get the buzz kill but look it's getting closer it's getting closer maybe we've got nine left so maybe by the end we can sneak ourselves a nice universal come on i want to give away this damn 20xx <laughs> i'll have to do it again if i don't get anything good okay mantis not bad i don't think this is this isn't painted so it could be certified Oh, and also, just real quick, anyone that's still watching, anyone that ripped my ass about the me trading up that Striker Mantis instead of the normal one, that normal one was not mine, that's why I didn't trade it up. Even though, I guess in the retrospect, if I would've gave my friend back a Striker Mantis instead of a normal Mantis, he probably wouldn't have been annoyed. But I just thought, like, it just didn't even cross my mind, because I was like, okay, well that's not even my Mantis, so I'm not gonna use it in a trade-up video, I'm just gonna keep it. So I traded up the Striker Mantis instead, and... <laughs> a lot of people gave me shit about it <laughs> because I, I guess I didn't clearly speak that like like it's right there so close I cl like I didn't clearly say that you know that striker mantis is mine and the other one wasn't so people were kind of confused about that but if anyone's still watching that but complained about it that's the reason why I don't know why you'd still be watching unless maybe I get something good right here no mm -mm. <laughs> I got some mobo <laughs> This is awful, guys. This is truly awful. But uh, basically, if you guys like this kind of video, let me know. Leave likes down below, because if you do, I'll make more. If you guys don't, then don't like the video, because then I won't make more. I'll get the hint. You know, I think I hate it when YouTubers are like, smash that fucking like button and I'll make another video for you guys. Yeah, I'll reward you with some good video tomorrow. Not like I wouldn't make another one anyway, but if you guys smash a like button, I'll make it. So stupid. But the like button, I really do use it to see if you guys like the video that I'm making or not like it, because this is kind of a new idea. So if you like the concept, let me know. And uh, if we do end up doing the giveaway, because maybe we'll get something in the last three crates, I hope so. But if we end up doing the giveaway, um, it's gonna go through Gleam, so it'll be in the description. But let's see, I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I set myself up for failure right away. Look at this, pulling the good shit out at the end. I mean, nothing too special, but there's an exotic and um, import wheels, you know? Not bad, not bad, but this, oh no. There's one more crate and then another one. <laughs> we start on a universe, we might end on one. There's one more crate and then there's another one. So there's two. Go clips, that's a great one. Okay, uh, let's, oh. If we would have been able to pull the Neothermal there, that would have been nice. Just keep on pulling really <laughs> the imports for the last three. I wouldn't have been upset then. Alright, last crate. Come on. Something good. This was the 51st crate that I just got in-game. Right before I recorded this. Come on, please give me something good. Save the video. The video's shit right now. Save it. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, no, it can't. It can't do it. Nope. Those aren't painted either. 
All right, well, we didn't end up beating 20XX. I don't even think the value of everything that we got would beat 20XX. Maybe it would be close, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys do like this idea of me getting an item and then buying a whole bunch of crates for it and seeing if I can beat it and then giving it away, let me know. Leave a like, comment down below, and I will make more of these videos. But besides from that, I think this really will be my last Nitro crate opening. I might do another trade-up video sometime in the future if I just because I open crates constantly so if I get something you know a buildup of items I'll do a trade up video on it but besides from that I think this will be the last nitro crate opening unless you guys really like this and I'll make another one but besides from that this, this should really be it so um uh, hope you know the crate opening into the next crate comes out which will probably be sometime soon because Cyanox is just totally milking it for the money now but Besides from that, um, I guess there'll be like a loot crate opening too because I've ordered the, the Rocket League loot crate. So I'm excited to get that in the mail and see what's up with that. Should be getting it sometime soon. So I'll be opening that basically just me on face cam here and opening it right here. But um, besides from that, uh, Monic videos coming soon and other stuff like that. But crate opening, that will be strictly to the next crate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like and let me know. Uh, this has been Epic Clips and I'll see you guys in the next one.